Hi everyone, welcome to our Toberfest event and our intro to Project Kima. As we say in our description, Kima is a platform for extending applications with serverless functions and microservices. If you're an experienced cloud native developer, then a lot of what we will show you will look familiar from a project level. But the way we connect things together may look new. If you're new to containerized apps, then we hope the setup of a Kima environment will show you a great way to build in the serverless world. The next few minutes we will give you a preview and description of the enablement content we will be sharing as part of the Devtoberfest event. So let's get started. All the information for the Devtoberfest 2020 event you will find on our GitHub repository website. In there you'll find scheduling for all the exercises and videos, all the responsible speakers and content owners, and all the information you need about the different topics. Here in the content section, you will find an overview of all the exercises and videos with direct links to those videos. And I'm going to walk you through the different exercises here. So there are lots of components that power Kima, and we will show you how to set up and install your own environment first. So we're going to show you how to install Project Kima locally on your machine so you can use it there. Then we will walk you through how to utilize a hyperscaler and run Project Kima on, on, a, on a hyperscaler of your choice. The next videos will cover deploying to the Kima runtime in different ways, but also we're talking about exposing your services and applications through a secured API to the outside world. After looking at some options for extensions and scalability, we will see what a fully managed Kima system from SAP Cloud Platform looks like. We will have some guest presenters from the Kima open source team and SAP, and we'll be linking to resources like tutorials as well as GitHub samples to help you get the most out of your Kima build experience. And with that, thank you so much and have a great Devtoberfest 2020.